Hi guys, Ms. Spainer here with your answer key for Desmos Activity Coin Captured Line. So we need to create a line that captures as many of these coins as possible. They give us a working equation, y equals 1 half x plus 1. So we know the slope is 1 half, so that means the vertical increase is 1, the horizontal increase is 2, and so we'll just see that keep repeating, and the y-intercept is 1. So this means the line will cross the y-intercept at 1, when y is equal to 1. So that's right here. So we create this line. We can see that it captures no coin. So here's our y-intercept. Looks like we need to move it down a little bit so we can catch some more coins. So I'm going to try a negative 1. So this y-intercept is 1, y-intercept of 0, y-intercept of negative 1. There we go. Captured all the coins. So we need to do the same thing again for number two. So now it looks like we have a vertical line and a horizontal line. So if you remember the equation for vertical lines is going to be um, x equals the unchanging x, uh, x coordinate. So right now every coin has an x coordinate of four. So we have zero, one, two, three, four. So this should be x equals the unchanging x coordinate of 4. There we go. For horizontal lines, it's going to be similar. It's going to be y equals the unchanging y coordinate. So right now, all of the coins sit on a y coordinate of 0. We have 1, 2, 3. So it should be y equals 3. So for number three, um, so we have to do the same thing as number one, except for we do not have an equation, but we have a bunch of lines here that we need to create. So it doesn't matter where you start. So I'm going to start with this line here. So this line is going downhill, so that means we're going to have a negative slope. And so we need to find that slope. And it looks like it's going to have a y-intercept of four. So we need to find the slope. And by finding the slope, if you remember, Slope is that very special quotient of the vertical change, so the change is going up and down, and over the horizontal change, change going left and right. So it doesn't matter what two points you're going to use. So I'm going to use this point here, which is 0, 4, and I'm going to use this point here, which is also on my line, which is 4, 0. So if we find the slope, remember the first coordinate is your x, second coordinate is your y. So I'm going to subtract my y's, go 4 minus 0, and the x coordinate that goes with the y coordinate of 4 is 0, minus 4. So we get 4 over negative 4, it's going to be equal to negative 1. So the equation for this line here is going to be y equals the slope, so negative 1, x, plus the y-intercept of 4. So that's going to be my first line. My second line, let me change colors here. So it's going to be this line right here in the red. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have to find my slope. So I'm going to use the same points as I already found that point. And this line has a y-intercept of negative 4. So this point is 0, negative 4. So again, I'm going to find my slope. So I'm going to, uh, it doesn't matter the order of your points you choose. All right, so negative 4 minus 0 is negative 4. Four, excuse me, 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So I have a slope of positive 1, which makes sense because my line is going uphill. So the equation for my red line is y equals the slope 1 times x minus, so it doesn't matter, so be plus the y-intercept of negative 4. So that's the equation for my red line. Now, I still have some coins that I'm not quite capturing. So let's see, I have to capture these coins here on the green line. So we're going to do the same thing, except for now we know the y-intercept is going to be 0 because it's going through the origin. And so again, we're going to find our slope. 
So I'm going to use point zero zero, and then I'm just going to go ahead and use this point here. It doesn't matter which point you use. And this is point negative one, one. So let's go ahead and find slope using those two points. So again, our first number in our order pair is x, second number is y. So it's going to be 1 minus 0, negative 1 minus 0. So we get 1 over negative 1, which is the slope of negative 1, which makes sense. What we should get, because our green line is going downhill, the equation to our green line is going to be y equals negative 1x plus the y-intercept of 0, which is plus 0. So you really don't need to put that. You can if you want, but that's the equation for our green line. And we need to create one more line to get the last couple coins here. So I'm going to put that in pink. So we're going to go ahead and find our slope, just like we did with our other lines. And again, it's a proportional line. It's going through the origin, so it will not have a y-intercept. So it doesn't matter which point you use. I'm going to use this point here, which is negative 1, negative 1 in the first Number in the order pair is an x. Second number is y. So we're going to get negative 1 minus 0, 1 minus 0. So it should be negative 1. There we go. So we get negative 1 over negative 1, which is positive 1, which makes sense because our line is going uphill. So the slope should be positive. So the equation to our purple line or pink line is going to be y equals 1x, or just x, plus 0. So those are the four equations you need for number 3.